Hi everyone, thank you for coming. We're Group Alpha and our project was AI Chef. So we aim to solve a simple problem. What are we having for dinner tonight? While recipe books and online resources essentially provide a mapping from recipe names to ingredients and instructions, this isn't very useful when you have the ingredients in front of you and you want to know what you can make. While there do exist applications that allow you to enter in ingredients and will find you with a list of recipes, these rely on manual entry and are slow and cumbersome. AI Chef aims to solve this by using computer vision to recognize ingredients automatically from live video. We use ARM's optimized computer vision libraries to improve the speed and efficiency of this, and our app specifically focuses on recognizing vegetables. Once we've added all your vegetables to our list, we will provide you with a list of recipes. You can select the ones you want, and then we'll provide you with instructions on how to make them and a shopping list for what else you need to buy. Okay, so to give you a high-level overview of how AI Chef might work, first of all, the user photographs the ingredient. Um, on our app, this is displayed as live video, however, in the background, we'll be taking a single frame. We then format this image to work with the classifier, which means down scaling it and cropping it, as well as normalizing the image to get a better classification. The classifier then returns its confidence um, of the top vegetable that it's predicted. Uh, we pre we've preset a threshold, so if the confidence exceeds this threshold, we give the image, um, we give the classification to the user. However, if it's below the threshold, we throw it away and we take another image. After we've collected all the ingredients, um, we allow the user to search for suggested recipes based on these uh, by passing it to the recipe recommender. From this, the user can select the recipes they're interested in making, and from here, we give them a shopping list of the remaining ingredients they need to buy, as well as the instructions to make each of these recipes. So to give you an impression of what this looks like in the app, this is the main screen. You point your phone at some vegetables, hold down the scan button, Hopefully, in about two seconds, it will recognize correctly what vegetable you've picked, and you can add that to your list. Alternatively, if you want to include a vegetable that we haven't trained the classifier on, you can just, we have the fallback of uh, manually entering it. Once you've done that, we, uh, you can see there we have all our ingredients, and we go to the list of recipes. You can just click the ones you want, and It'll tell you what, what you need to buy, other ingredients, and give you instructions for how to make those recipes. Okay, so a large part of our project was building a classifier to detect these ingredients from live video. To do this, we first of all had to gather the data set. Now to do this, we used ImageNet, since this was a very uh, diverse data set of images in a very different environment, so we could really detect vegetables anywhere. <laughs> We then perform transfer learning on Google's mobile net. So to do this, we freeze the initial layers of the network, uh, which extracted the features from the images. And we then use these features in our own model, which we trained, to predict which vegetable it was. We use data augmentation on the training set by uh, performing operations such as flipping the images, as well as randomly changing the brightness and cropping the images to really generalize the data set. All in all, we trained it on 40 classes, so 40 different vegetables. The results of this was a top one accuracy of about 68%. Um, this meant that uh, about 68% of the time they would get the top classification correct. However, we did find that on the ones that got incorrect, the confidence would be low. So by setting the threshold correctly, we could throw these images away. Yes, so in summary, we hope that AI Chef can improve the meal making experience by uh, improving the time it takes to decide what you want to make. Some possible extensions include increasing the range of ingredients we can classify and providing a more personal experience with a user profile. Thank you for listening.